Hi there, Joel from Joneses, and today we're going to answer some questions about how to pick up your tachometer signal from your alternator. That video coming up next. Okay, in front of me we have uh, your typical uh, alternator um, that is found on the uh, Dodge uh, Cummins trucks, the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. And uh, you can see we have went ahead and removed the, uh, the back off of it. This is uh, pretty straightforward. It's just uh, some nuts um, and some bolts cap there to get this uncovered. And uh, we're going to show you guys exactly how to add the tack wire. This is actually very simple. We just have a, uh, a regular, regular wire. We uh, doubled up on the um, shrink wrap. And we're going to choose one of these terminals right on the outside here um, to terminate this on. So you just loosen up one of those bolts, slip your terminal in there like that, tighten it down, and you're done. Now, one thing I'm going to mention is that you can now add an internal regulator. I don't recommend those. They uh, don't uh, seem to be as uh, robust as the external ones that we sell. So uh, I recommend sticking with the external regulator. So here is a, here's another one. This one's a little bit cleaner. It's got the, the tack wire. Ours is uh, going to be going into a uh, GM product and uh, they use a white wire for the tachometer so we decided to go with the uh, the white wire okay now on the back of your little tin shield here we have <clears throat> the uh, output post goes right here okay and you can see the output post is going to be there and then this wire is going to come up right out of this so this one I've already modified. You can see we just uh, spread that out a little bit so that uh, you'll have more room for the, for the wire. Okay, so to do that, I just take a, take a screwdriver and kind of bend, bend that out so that you have a passage for that wire to come up through. So we're going to go ahead and slip that wire, get it pulled up in there, get our brushes uh, dust boot stuck back on. And slip this down over like that. Okay? So that's how that goes. And you go ahead and uh, reinstall all of your hold down fasteners. Okay, now once you guys get all that buttoned up, the way you terminate this wire is generally you have to run run the wire itself to a conversion box. We use the Dakota Digital Conversion Box. We sell those on the website. And that way you'll be able to actually calibrate and fine tune the uh, tachometer signal. When you try to run the tachometer directly from this wire, it's uh, not going to be calibrated correctly and it's not going to read correctly. So you uh, run it in through the Dakota Digital Box and then you can fine tune your signal. If you guys have any questions, post your questions in the comments. Don't forget to check out the Adventure Vehicles website to buy your diesel conversion parts and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.